Welcome back. Mm -hmm. You may remember his story of heroism and survival. Douglas County Sheriff's Detective Dan Bright was shot and nearly killed in the line of duty back in 2016. That shooting left him paralyzed and led to depression and even suicidal thoughts for Bright. Since then, he has made it his mission to help others struggling with their mental health. Dan Bright is now the wellness coordinator with the Dugco Sheriff's Office. Thank you so much for coming in. We also have Rachel Lambert with Brain Code joining us this morning. Brain Code helps with neurofeedback, a mental health tool that has helped Dan and some other first responders deal with their trauma. Thank you both so much for coming in. Absolutely. And we have to mention Fergus down Fergus, here as yeah, well. Fergus, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Such a cutie. Fergus is a six-year-old giant schnauzer doodle, and um, he's a service dog for me and a therapy dog for our agency. So, I'm so glad he has the best life us. ever. So cool. All right, so Dan, your personal story, of course, has led to this position that you have with the Doug Co. Sheriff's Office now. Why was this so important to you? Um, it was important to me, on, actually, on several levels. One is through my own mental health struggles, uh, realizing not only was that a pretty horrible thing to go through, mm -hmm. but then realizing for myself that there's other first responders um, in this profession that are undoubtedly going through struggles as well. Yeah. And I didn't want them to, to travel down that same road that I did, or if they did travel down that same road, they have an opportunity to get out of that, out of that hole, right? And so just using my own personal experience to provide that meaning and purpose to really take care of our first responders has been my passion that I never even knew existed. Yeah until this happened. You're the perfect person for it as yeah, well. And thank Rachel, you. so tell us a little bit about how this technology works and maybe how it's different than what people traditionally think about mental health help and therapy. Yeah, you know, I actually got introduced to this therapy from my own personal experience as well. I struggled with all sorts of mood and impulsivity issues growing up and I actually was diagnosed with bipolar disorder which is typically a life sentence of medication management, right? Mm -hmm. And I just didn't want to be succumb to medication, not that medication's bad, but that didn't, I didn't want that to be my story and traditional counseling was not moving the needle for me. So when I got introduced to brain mapping and neurofeedback and I went through the entire program, I literally felt like I had a second chance at life. It, it saved me. And that's really what ignited my passion for this field and helping other people learn that it is not just the only therapy that you can do is counseling or you know feeling like medication. There are other ways that your brain can change and move and be, become flexible. So it's been so powerful getting to work with Dan Bright and Douglas County and spread this form of therapy. Um, and it is, it's very different. We're utilizing hardware and software to teach the brain how to self-regulate, which ultimately is what changes people's lives and changes their behavior. And I think that that is so important because Dan, you can kind of touch on this. Talk therapy doesn't always work. Oftentimes that is also really hard for first responders who really do have a hard time talking about their trauma and the PTSD that you're, they're going through. So this is why this therapy is so great, especially for first responders. Absolutely, because it's just a, a, different, a different modality, right? Another option for them. Um, there are some that love traditional talk therapy, and there's also others that, like you said, um, that's not their, their first choice. Mm -hmm. So what's really nice about neurofeedback is there's uh, really no talking involved, right? You just let um, the software, the hardware do all the work, um, and, and, and the changes happen. What I find interesting is usually about halfway through the treatment plan, right, first responders start to open up and talk. So then they're getting that, that one-two approach, right? Yeah. Now they're getting the, some, a little bit of the talk therapy and the neurofeedback um, at the same time, which has been, I, I think, is an excellent treatment plan for this profession. It's huge. Yeah. Where can people go to find this type of um, technology? Where, where can they find brain code? How much is it? Is it covered by insurance? How does that work? Yeah, so we have offices in the Denver metro area. We also actually are in Tulsa, Oklahoma, as well as Dallas, Texas. But we even have a remote program, so we see people nationwide where we're able to actually deliver hardware to their home. And we have an app that is um, coded kind of to us, and we're able to do things on the back end so that people aren't just limited to the Denver metro area. But yes, we have multiple offices out here. We serve people with anxiety, depression, trauma, kids with ADHD, people with mood disorders. Um, so we don't just work with the first responder population, but that is a huge subset of our focus. Um, but yeah, people, I, I always just encourage doing a free consultation, educate yourself, learn more about how your brain is able to change. And so 
find us on Instagram. If you're listening, that's a great way just to learn more about what we're doing. Go on our website, braincodecenters.com, and um, yeah, take it from there. I love that this can be mobile too, so that is mm. such a great option. Really appreciate both of you coming in, and Dan, thank you for everything that you do for the community, and now obviously, now with first responders and everything that you're doing with them. Absolutely, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.